You remember those plug and play consoles, right? Oh yeah, at, at Wally World. Yeah, they're absolutely terrible. garbage. Yeah, I remember the, the one. I remember the one that my that my dad bought uh, that my dad bought one time because he's like, oh yeah, we'll take this on the road with us. It'll be good fun. No, it won't. It was a cheap. It was a cheapo baseball one. And what it was is there was a baseball, there was a baseball, no, and there was a bat, no. no, and then the baseball had a little directional pad on it. You chose the pitch, no. and then it had a little, a little velocity tracker in there to track how fast you would throw it, okay. which and of then, course didn't work well. No, well, no, it didn't. They, it, every pitch was between like, between like, like every fastball was like between eighty five and like ninety five miles an hour. And like the other ball, the, the, there was a ten mile an hour variance of difference, no matter how fast you threw it. Which is actually probably a lot easier on the programming of the game. It is, it is, and so, not only that, it's less with the sensor. And, and not though. only that as well, there was a uh, the the baseball bat didn't detect when you swung half the time. Ah, oh. there, there's that's there's that's where the, the rub. primary problem was. Yes, there we are. Uh, but anyway, yeah, those consoles were very shitty. And I'm yeah. glad that, for the most part, they're gone. And you noticed I said, for the most part. Because there's still scammers out there that, that they, like, try and sell you, like, like uh, actually, I think um, Danger Dolan actually had a, a list of, like, knockoff, like, knockoff uh, video game consoles. Yeah, I, I know a mall kiosk that would uh, readily argue with the fact that they're gone because they're not. I keep walking by there, and I'm like, that's supposed to be Super Mario Brothers. They have removed certain UI elements to make it not Super Mario Brothers, but it's still straight up just 1-1 one, one of Super Mario Brothers. Yep. Oh, dear. Yeah, and, well, you see, you, you're always going to have the knockoffs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, anyway... JonTron, um, you know, the YouTuber that you all want us to watch a lot of. For yeah, some that, that guy. Uh, we are uh, going to be watching his uh, plug-and-play consoles video. Uh, we'll see what he's got to say and uh, see which ones he brings up. So uh, Ooh, without boy. further ado, here we... Here, <clears throat> here, yeah. Sorry, yeah. got choked up there for a second. Here we... Aaron! I here, can't do it. I can't do it. Here we... Gotta, here we, we gotta, yeah. This is such a good intro. Still, it's a classic, yeah. Hello, Jacques. Hey, Jacques. The best character. I saw your yarn boy. Burb. Hi, Burb. Oh. Oh no. Black Friday approaches, and that means one thing. Grandma's out getting trampled just to get you the same old gift. Crappy video games. Oh, you got me Monopoly this year for the Nintendo 64? Well, this would have been great back in 1864. You know, when it was impressive just to not die from being 35. We all got games like this. You know the ones. Bottom of the bin. That's wow. Bottom of the bin at the grocery store. That's, um, that's a lot of Max Payne 3s. It's a lot of pain. It's a lot of pain. Oh. One of these. Why buy your loved ones a $50 Spongebob game for their Wii in which you have to, you know, put the disc in and then figure out which chords plug in from the box machine into the TV and then you gotta maybe, like, switch it on and who knows what else from there. When for $20 you can get them the magical device that plugs right into their TV, already has the game inside of it, and it's also a toy of Spongebob's face. That's like, what, it's like 18 toys in one. No. Now, plug and play games have been around for decades, but their true rise to popularity began in the early 2000s, led by a company called Jack's Pacific. Uh-huh. Remember, this was the before downloadable content and virtual console re-releases were widespread, yep. the most you'd see were those GBA ports of NES games. So at the time, it made sense. Of course, people were gonna be like, "You're telling yeah. me there were ten classic Namco video games in this one small box that looks like a tiny version of the bigger <laughs> box it used to be in?" Well, sign me and the rest of America up. We got a couple of years for the housing crisis. Let's have some fun. So basically, yeah, that's about right. In an innocent way to port some classic video games in a novel way, spiraled into a massive business. I mean, these things were everywhere. Look at the ones I have. These two are both classic Namco games. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Standard stuff. There's a lot of these in the Marvel superhero series. This one's on. Spider-Man, I guess. Hey, Spidey, you think you could, you know, back off a bit? You know the saying, a watched man never plays. A lot of these are just a penis. This one, this one is Spider-Man's penis. 
on his forehead. This one is uh, Fantastic Four's uh, That's the thing creepy penis. golem penis. Okay. Is this good? Is this bad? I'm, I'm sorry, man. I kind of have to do this. Oh, my goodness. That's a bit barbaric, isn't it? No. Poor bastard. Weird. Gross. Ew. This is the, that's the Shrek one. This one is my personal uh, favorite. Spider-Man po points at your dick while you play. <laughs> you can't make that up. That's really how they designed this. Uh, <laughs> what the hell were they thinking? It's like, Deal it's no like deal. boy, there's your dick. Scooby's really uh, going to town on the back of the mystery machine. Damn it. Friends like, uh, uh, Scoob, no, it's a kid's show. Don't. I mean, to be honest, most of the games aren't horrible. The Scooby-Doo one's pretty appealing. The graphics are nice. Even the Marvel yeah. ones aren't bad. They're basically side-scrolling beat-em-ups. Although I assume anyone would get tired of these before long. But don't get me wrong. There are the bad ones. Like the one where you plunder a sewer for the lizard. Whoa. And ever. Oh, there he is. Wonderful. I've... Golf. I know that game. I asked for this. But of course, as to be expected, any good fan like, a fair share of bootleg. Wow. So why don't you just go ask our good friend Robert Pop over here? Oh, and of course, don't forget everyone's favorite crime-fighting alliance, Sense of Right. Everyone's here. Batman, Superman, Shrek, a car. That's, that's, that's right. Yeah. That's a real thing. Or, or you know, Hermione Grinder. Yep. Top student at chalkboard. Nice. No licensing fee. Thanks, Solaire. Perfect for children with no necks. Finally, a game system for me. Digital stereo sound, high-tech controller, dazzling 3D graphics, and spectacular color. And to top it off, 88 games in one. I don't what believe I oh. that. Oh, sold. No. Uh, wait, hold on. 8-bit game? I thought you said it was dazzling 3D graphics. Philip, make up your goddamn mind. Philip, has the audacity have a good time. A selling point that it comes with AV cable. Yeah, don't even get me started on the previous version. I can make this work. Let's talk about what's actually on the Oh. Hey, Spider-Man. I know that. This ought to be good. Oh, it actually is kind of good, but it's just a port of the NES title. Yeah. In fact, this whole thing is just NES ports with mistranslated titles. 63410? Never heard of that one. Packet. No. That's a, that's a real winner. <laughs> um. Oh, Mario. Hey, they were right. That's the smallest Mario I've ever seen. He's so small you can't fucking see him. Yeah, but these are just ports. I'm looking for something I've never seen before. When am I going to get to the good stuff? Maybe I'll find something in the, uh, uh, power cracker. Which, according to the game no. box, is the greatest game machine in the planet. In the planet. What are we waiting for? Get it out of there. Start digging. This one claims to have 76. I'm sorry, what? No. I've playing this for my entire life. Oh my god. Wow. 76,000. Burger time. Order some takeout. Toy Story? Eh, Wait. I wonder what this one's like. Circus Charlie, huh? Huh? Uh, huh? I don't remember that from the movie. Again, this is just a bunch of mislabeled titles from the NES. Yep. I mean, there's not a single original game in here. I mean, but hey, you got Contra. Does this? I mean, why'd they stop at 76,000? Why didn't they just say a million games, a billion, infinity, sky's the limit when you don't give a shit? Well, I mean, why don't we just try Super Mario? I mean, I've seen at least three into. Burger Tops. Mr. I have several questions. <laughs> Me? No, I'm not mad. I mean, who's mad? How could I be mad when I bought a video game console that has Circus Charlie under 5,000 fucking different names? I'm fine! Crack this! Oh. Nice. K.O. K.O. This may be my final chance to find a game machine that no one has ever seen before. Luckily, of course, looks like it's going up Spider-Man's ass. No, I gotta know about the Square Enix one. You wanna be a pro? Then you're gonna need this, sucker. Whoa. <laughs> it's got 51 games in one, and they all look original, so I'm pretty excited to see what this is. Ish? Let's load it up and see something life changing. What? No, 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 no. It, it, no, it can't just be NES games again. The back of the box said it had original games. God damn it! What? Well, there they are. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. You, you're telling me I have to take out the cartridge 
to play the games. I think I'm supposed to be upset right now, but more or less, I think I've just gone fully numb. Well, we gotta start this off the right way, so of course I'm gonna pick hitting mice. You know, this one really stood out to me, and I think they wanted it to mainly because they printed it twice on the back of the box. <laughs> oh, so they did. Oh, complete with nightmare. <laughs> mices? Mices. Mices. We haven't even gotten through half of this video. No. Pluralize the plural so you can hit more, you're a monster. In this game, you play as a cave gorilla throwing what seem to be, what is that, bean bags? At mice that are climbing up your wall. Now you gotta hit those mice, but you wanna cushion the blow. You don't want them to die from one hit. You wanna stop the mice before they curl up in these burrows. Also, it's got this power up that makes it move faster and is impossible to play without. But that's basically it, gameplay wise. There's nothing else to this game. All right, next. Exist? Yeah, I've been trying. I mean, the game poses a philosophical question. A masterpiece does it right in the title. Look at that copyright year. 2005-18784? Yeah, it's going to be a while till fair use kicks in on this one. Ooh. No modding. Ah, it's a fish game. I definitely got that from the title. This is basically just feeding frenzy, except it's got this eight-second loop of music that's driving me crazy. Now, I'm not exaggerating here. I timed it. It's eight seconds long. Come to think of it, this music's probably enjoyable for one kind of guy. A fish with a six-second memory span. Yeah, that's about right. You know, I got a philosophical question myself. Why am I still playing this? All right, what's next? Uh, let's boot up Cute Fish. Oh, God! Cute Fish? Last game was Cute Fish. This is Exist. I don't think you mean this guy. All right, well, at least we're past that horrible title screen. What? Cheese? I see. Yes, I, uh, oh, I, I certainly do. Che you pick. What is you pick here. your bait. Cheese. Oh, 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 okay, okay, yeah. Cute fish. I got it. I don't get it. It's come to my attention that a lot of these games are aquatic themed. This one's called Core Indoor. What a beautiful name she has. Corridor. Oh. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> All right, Sonic, slow down. By that, I mean she Dang. This is M Day with an underscore in the title because that makes sense. Wait. Also, we have Dinger Zone. <laughs> okay, that's. <laughs> Let me play Dinger Zone. This many of them. Is it because it was easier to program, or was it just because 90% of the background was just blue? Yeah. yeah. Next game, Water Fire. Okay, yeah, seeing a lot of the water. Not so sure about the fire. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes, and I genuinely can't figure out how this one works. I think you're supposed to shoot only one certain color of barrel, green or red, but it doesn't matter which one you shoot. The guy on the right always wins. Why? For what reason? We cannot live in a world of chaos! Also, in regular fashion, the sound will cut out at will. And then come back! Oh, yeah. And then cut back out. And just like that, it's gone like, a, like an angel's kiss. Next up, Xmas gift. Oh, I just know it's gonna feel like Christmas in here in a minute. Look like Santa's on a watch! Looks like he's got a couple of them scared of leg eyes up there. Oh, jeez. I wonder what he's seeing. I wonder if he can see. His other eye. Now hang on a sec. Is this game called Xmas Gift or Gift Xmas? Or maybe the title is an equation. Gift times mass equals the theory of happiness? Yeah. That. Some dumb idiot probably just don't get English. One Christmas night. Oh, good God. His temper was not mild. He threw gifts at every man, woman, and child. Uh, hold on, actually. At just one child. Yeah, I'm talking shit like hamsters, bananas, leaded screws that cause brain damage, apparently. I'm not sure what's happening here, but it can't be good. Oh my god! Oh. Uh, a Merry Christmas! I wish I'd worn that shirt now. Smash cut to a bleak white skeleton. Yep. Recreates the ancient German Christmas time tradition. Jeder Abend in the snow with the frying pan and try to catch Sinterklaas' evil gifts from the sky. It is a great time for our kinder in Deutschland. Okay, let's get out of here before Santa notices. I don't want to get on this guy's bad list. Okay, moving on. It, 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 Audacity it, snakes. snakes. I have to know. Audacity of this city. That's just a snake from the jungle book. That's Pa. They use the same exact snake. Wait. Except this time it looks like he peed on the and got in trouble for it. <laughs> snake. 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 You need to know what's in this game. Snake. Oh, it's just snake. It's snake. Shitty fucking shitty ass snake. 
You know what? I am not leaving until somebody tells me where Audacity fits in all this. I'll just move on to the next game. I need to get through this before I get a goddamn coronary. Snack. Dear God. That's haunting. I'm going. Pop monster is jumped to the next platform. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have fucking nightmares about that art. You have your choice of not one but three spiral staircases back there. You don't gotta risk it. It's just this. Over. And over. And the music is just this. I think we found over, Cole's new avatar. And over! And over! Next! This one's called Trooper. And oh, I think the only Trooper I see here was the title screen itself. Ooh. Hey, and Bunny was sending backup. In this game, everyone is falling to Earth, and it's your oh. job to you know, murder them all. Parrot. Why? To blink around like a wizard. Am I breaking it? Is this breaking it? Please, God, let's just be breaking it. This type of game seems to be coming up frequently as well. These, uh, Space Invaders clones. It's not really a shmup, because you're not going anywhere. Things are just kind of falling at you. Yeah. You got Robot, literally the same as Trooper. Archer. You play as a man who throws arrows with his bare hands. I believe so more of a spearman. The two major ingredients in archery here. Perhaps this is how archery got started. Up there with Exist getting a bit of philosophy in here. Aether Fighter, just another version of Trooper, except this time you shoot pineapples. And the final man. That's epic. He's the last one. Except he isn't. Oh, it's... there's at least two or three other men over here. You're a liar. Wow, I'm getting fucking tired of this. Oh, and please, don't let me forget the star attraction here. Shooting... Balance. Balance. Or, excuse me, I'm sorry, I got this wrong. Actually, this is Hooten Balance. <laughs> Another Santa Claus game? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey, this it's is exactly the same. The same. Gift, except this time Santa's not evil. And the graphics are kind of also better, the main character's a girl? Hold on a second. Is Xmas Gift a bootleg of Santa Claus? A bootleg of a bootleg inside a bootleg system. Well, what kind of Christopher Nolan Inception level shit is this? Oh, hold on deeper, Leo. Okay. Oh, don't get the screws. We got Brave Boy. At okay, so Zelda. Looks decent on this one. Hey, You'd I'm think. A Link. I'm a brave boy. I'm what the hell? Sorry, that's a girl. Not a brave enough boy for this. What even is this? When a monster catches you in this game, you give it a bath. bath? Not that you'd even be expected to know that you're doing that, because the panel only shows up for a split second when you get hit. And it's not even you in the picture. It's some blue head kid in his underwear and a cape. Well, no, that's not a cape. That's a ponytail. No, it's not. It's the tentacle? It's a chain. You're forced to give the thing a bath. The guy can catch you from literally anywhere. Even if the top of his head scrapes you when he's outside of the building and you're inside of the building, he gets you. I'm on a bath, motherfucker. Careful. Yep, yep, got it. Wow, that boy was so brave he sent someone else to get the sword for him. Magical kids. Surprise! It's hell on earth! It's bouncing suicidal fruit with a spatula next! Okay, this this one this one is just called Box's World. Look at his bear, look at this smug son of a bitch. He knows, he knows what he knows what he's doing. Well again, it's a game called Box's World. What do you expect? Mary fucking Poppins, you seen the rest of these? And the top of the size is ten of another game on the same oh. genesis called Shove It. Where you slide boxes around. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I remember seeing this one on my TI 83 calculator. Oh, yeah. The vast majority of the games on this system are puzzle games. And most of them are terrible. There are memory games, stacking games. Two of the games on here I would classify as lawn care games. Yeah. They would be Radish Field and Lawn Purge. <laughs> AKA cutting the goddamn grass. Why would I want to play a game? Lawn Purge. Chores. Isn't that what games are supposed to help us avoid doing? Especially when there are other such enticing titles on this console, As like sub games, as I like to call it, stacking fucking cans. All right, come on, what's next? I'm here for the ride at this point. I'm here till the fat lady sings. Germ killer. Got germ killer. Yeah. Better be Doctor Mario. Well, it's not Doctor Mario. Doctor Mario is just Tetris, kind of. It is. Ish. <laughs> John, it's okay, buddy. We all have so those moments. I, I can't explain it. It's, li <laughs> it's literally the thing where you want, where you hope it bounces um, in the corner. You promised me this. What the? I, I really, I, I have no idea what's going on here. Oh. 
it goes right when it points left, it goes left when it points right, there's no logic. There is no way out, is there? That's what you're trying to tell me, isn't it? I'm stuck here forever playing your barely functional game. No, like she's making right turns and left turns based on her facing. I think I gotta take a rest. How about we book a room at the Oto Oto Hotel and have a nice nap? The bosses are really weird too. They just Okay, okay <laughs> let's be fair though. The bosses in Contra are real fucking yes. weird. Yeah, they are. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what's up next. We got boxing. Worst. <laughs> it's wrestle misspelled. Boxing wrestle. When they got Mike Tyson next to Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Are they different games? Are they just one boxing uh, you, wrestle? You mean the Dwayne Rock Johnson? You can't make me. Help me. I'm being held against my will. My address is one, two, three, help. This is the worst game I've ever played. Next. He's had that moment of realization. Oh, yeah. Where is my okay. life? I mean, that one looks pretty cool. I mean, it's ancient Chinese warfare. How can we go wrong? Just please give me this War one. Just this one. What? 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 It's, it's a puzzle game. It's, it's awful. It's all fucking awful! It's all of it! All of it! Every single one of them sucks! This whole thing is just filled with rip-offs! Police skill, it's Hogan's Alley, Guard Farm, it's Duck Hunt, Desert Gunman, it's Wild Gunman, Diamonds, Arkanoid, Close Quarters, Top Gun, Horrible Area, you got that right, Table Tennis, fucking Pong! I mean... Alright. One last game. Let's give it a shot. What do we got? Star. The Final Frontier. Mm. The very last game. Star. System. Could this be the one to save them all? No. No. Oh, oh. What? <laughs> no. Goodbye. No, we're not doing this. Huh? Can we not do this? God damn it. Damn, John. Are, are we are we doing Last Starfighter? Is that the joke we're doing? You did it, John. Who like Michael Jackson? You made it. You won with the Cosmo. Oh no. No, this can't be. You played them all, John. Now you can become a bootleg master yourself. No, no, no! Don't use your magic on me. <laughs> Oh, that was a fitting end. Very fitting. I wonder if my preemptive neck break takes picks up off the microphone. I don't know, I heard it. Oh, crap. That's not the right book. If you want to see more, these annotations. Oh, crap. Oh, God. That's not the right book. <laughs> I know. <coughs> <coughs> so, I, I want to play that baseball game that me and my dad that my dad bought years ago because that at least, and on some days was playable. This shit, right. this shit right here. Yep, give me a minute. Sorry, you were saying? <sighs> Elena. Elena's dead tired. For those of you who get that reference. No, now I have to do it to you, too. No, you don't. Yeah, I okay. already did it. it. Didn't work. I know, but I tried. Nate, you didn't get your side salad with your Seagal special. I didn't order the, the Seagal special. Well, that's too damn bad. You know, you know what special I ordered? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my right time. Yeah, that one from Spaceballs. That one with the chest burst. Check, please. Good night, everybody. Thank you.